Hi, this is David. Welcome to the Stream of David. Today I've set the intention for the stream to come in and share their perspective and guidance with us on gender, feminine versus masculine energy. We have received multiple requests for this type of information from the stream, so I'm thrilled to be able to bring them in today and have them share it with you. But before we get started with that, I want to let you know that we've had very positive response to our free workshop that we're holding in Mill Valley, California on March 3rd of 2018. So much so that we have decided to open up additional space. So if you're going to be in Northern California on that date, Saturday, March 3rd of 2018, and you'd like to attend a free workshop with the stream, you may do so by simply sending me an email request at david at thestreamofdavid.com. This workshop is completely free. I'm not going to try to sell you anything at the workshop or after the workshop. It's simply an opportunity for me to allow the stream to interact live in a very relaxed, casual workshop setting with people that are interested in this type of material. So if you attend, you will have an opportunity to speak directly to the stream and ask a question and receive their guidance directly from the source, or from source, I should say. I believe this can be beneficial for everyone in the room, and my intention is certainly to have a very friendly, casual, high-vibration environment that day. And we are holding the workshop at the Aqua Hotel in Mill Valley, and the Aqua Hotel's meeting space overlooks this beautiful body of water. So I believe it will be a very joyful, spiritually impactful day, where not only will you get to meet with me and the stream, but you will also meet other like-minded individuals. So if you're able and you'd like to join, simply send me an email at david at thestreamofdavid.com. I will tell you that while I enjoy very much here going back and listening to the playback on these podcasts of the stream's message, I need to go back and listen to it just as you do, because I rarely remember any of it after a session. I have found that when they interact with another and there are additional questions, perhaps the need for further clarification, or maybe even disagreement with their message, the information that comes forth from them in those scenarios has been extremely rewarding and extremely valuable. I've begun doing some one-to-one channeling sessions via Skype and FaceTime, and I'm confident that the majority of people that have done these have found the information extremely valuable, and I find myself listening to the recordings that I make from them, thinking that the information was so fantastic I only wish that it could be shared with everyone. And of course, these are private sessions, so I would never share those recordings with anyone without the owner's permission. But I absolutely see the value in having the stream come forth in a group setting, interacting, answering questions, and providing their eternal wisdom. This is what I've been working for many, many years to be able to do, to be able to sit and, as the stream, channeling the stream, hold a conversation, and receive these downloads of thought that they offer me and actually be able to articulate their answers in a way that's helpful to the one that's listening. I will tell you that for several months, even though I was receiving very clear information from them, I never thought I would reach the place where I would actually be able to sit and do this in a conversational setting. So this is very, very thrilling to me. And as far as workshops and other things go, It is my promise to you that if I ever charge for anything, I will be very, very upfront about that. I certainly don't think that there's anything wrong with a spiritual medium or any type of content provider to charge for their work. I do see that there are a lot of people out there that do things on this level for free with ulterior motives of charging you for something down the road. And that's not my style at all. That's not my intention. I absolutely want to find a path to doing this full time. It's something that I'm very humbled by. I believe that it is a gift that I have received, and I have received it in order to share it with the world. But transparency is absolutely my intention, as is always making the core message of the stream available to anyone who's interested in receiving it at no cost. But enough about paid versus free content. Let's bring the stream in and hear their thoughts. On masculine versus feminine energy. We'll be right back with the stream. We are here. 
David has asked us to come today and share our perspective on gender, masculine and feminine energy. We will begin by telling you that each of you have manifested many times, likely in human form, among other things. And over these lifetimes, you have absolutely been both male and female. You do not come to this human experience here on planet Earth as a brand new soul having never manifested in physical form before. You would not be ready for this environment if that were true. You have indeed worked your way up a vibrational ladder, for lack of a better term, over numerous lifetimes. And indeed, many of those have been in human form, both male and female. And from your higher consciousness, your soul perspective, you hold the knowledge of each of these existences, of these lifetimes. You do bring certain characteristics developed over these lifetimes into your new manifested form. And you even bring a certain level of awareness of having been both genders. And though your ego that you acquire when you manifest in a human form indeed shunts a portion of your higher consciousness so that you may focus on this physically manifested lifetime, the higher consciousness portion of you, the wholeness that is you, brings this vast awareness into this lifetime even if it's at what you would consider a subconscious level, and allows that knowledge and those vast experiences to flavor this current lifetime's persona. And in your planet's current evolutionary cycle, which includes widely held global ideals and customs, the gender divide is quite pronounced. In our communication with you, We focus very little on other worlds, for they are vast in their quantity and often differ from yours to such a great degree that you cannot comprehend what is happening there any more than a being in that world can comprehend what is happening on planet Earth. But as a point of reference, we will share with you that there are certainly worlds that are less evolved than planet Earth in its current state, and there are worlds that are further evolved than planet Earth in its current state. And we define this evolution not in physical terms, but in terms of technology, in terms of connection to higher consciousness. And while no physically manifested world has achieved or will achieve a state of what you would call perfection, For the only real purpose of any physically manifested environment is the expansion that is gained through the overcoming of obstacles and unwanted conditions in a polarized, physically manifested environment. We will tell you that there are other worlds where what you would call race has evolved into one planetary common race, and what you call gender has with higher consciousness evolved to what you would likely consider a more balanced state of being. We will not go any deeper into that than what we have shared, for it is a true rabbit hole of information that is well beyond your comprehension. But we will use it as an example of how what you perceive as this current gender-biased environment on your planet is something that likely will evolve to be less of an issue than it is in your current day. But as with all things, once one problem is solved, the solution begets yet another problem to be solved. And while there are no rules from our perspective, and there is certainly no judgment, you are absolutely free to live on planet Earth as you see fit. We will offer our perspective on this topic. We will begin by saying that we understand that there is great asking around this topic, that your perspective 
is likely very different from ours, from your human point of view. And we will share with you that the perceived imbalance from our perspective does not exist. Or many of you believe that the males of your world hold the majority of the power, perhaps because the males of your world hold the majority of leadership roles in your governments, in your businesses, and in your religions. But from our perspective, true power is indeed your personal power, your ability to create, and you each possess the ability to create in equal measure, regardless of your gender, and the females of your planet possess the unique ability, unique to them, to create new life. We absolutely understand that it takes a male and a female to create new life. That has always been and always will be on your planet, regardless of the technology that you use to actually produce a baby. But from our perspective, we absolutely view the ability to create a new human as the highest form of physical creative abilities. And while the male certainly plays a role, the majority of the creation occurs with the female. And the males of your world and their desire to balance this creative ability, you may even say in their envy of this creative ability, have indeed worked very hard to achieve their perceived need for balance by building societies and religions and creating structured commerce, among other things. And there is certainly nothing wrong with this. We understand the need for balance of all things on your planet. Polarity is absolutely at play on all topics, including this one. But while the males of your world currently run the majority of things, the females of your world still create the majority of new life. And therein lies the balance. And as we have said many times, there are no rules, there is no judgment. You all come here completely free to do whatever you wish. Our guidance is that you use your vast creative powers to pursue anything that you desire, regardless of your gender. Do not allow your current society to place you in a gender box. While your bodies may indeed be different and function differently, your intellect, your ability to create, is equal. You create your world, your life, your own bubble of reality, the same regardless of your gender. And your only limitations are those that you place upon yourselves. And we understand that this podcast is broadcast globally, and there may very well be some of you listening, feeling oppressed due to your gender, believing that you are limited by your government, your religion, or your family. It is our promise to you that any limitations you are currently encountering were placed by you, either by vibrationally projecting yourself into the environment in which you were born, because you do every time, and when you project yourselves into what you consider adverse conditions, you do so for the expansion that overcoming those conditions provides, regardless of how you go about overcoming them. And if your life has somehow evolved, into a circumstance where perhaps you did not start out but now feel as though you are limited because of your gender, it is our promise to you that you also place that obstacle in your path. And we are here to tell you, as we have said many times before, there is no obstacle that you can possibly place in your paths that you cannot also overcome. So from our broader perspective, there is absolutely no imbalance of power. And the majority of the ideas regarding your gender identities, your gender roles, are human-made creations in the first place. While your bodies differ in strength and composition, 
and absolutely differ in the role of reproduction, the idea of a constructed family unit, and the idea of cultural or religious-based gender roles are completely man-made. So therefore, it is completely up to you whether you choose to follow them or not. Sexual activities, appearance, attire, career choices, hobbies, familial roles, and positioning within religions, governments, and business, among other things, have all been developed in your current day society with the intention of controlling you, regardless of your gender. And if we accomplish anything in our teachings, in our interacting with you, we hope that we accomplish, we desire very deeply, for you to understand that so much of what you are living, what you are experiencing, your current perspective, was likely developed from the teachings and ideas of other humans with motives often based in controlling populations for the purposes of commerce and power. Once you allow yourselves to access your higher consciousness, you will come to realize that so much of your current day society's unwanted conditions are a result of man-made rules that beget man-made limitations. And while in your current human form, when reaching for higher consciousness, higher vibrational thought, you may be tempted to live in such a way that places you above all of these man-made rules, and you certainly possess the ability to do that, we are here to tell you, to remind you, that you came to this lifetime, to this planet, to live a current physically manifested existence in this current day society, with these current day rules. It is our guidance that you pick and choose and decide which of these man-made rules you wish to live with, that you wish to impact your lives. But do remember that when you were in your completed state, you desired nothing more than to return to planet Earth and experience human life in a polarized environment, with all of the positive and all of the negative that comes along with it, knowing that the overcoming these obstacles would provide the expansion that you deeply desired. So do what you wish to do. Dress how you wish to dress. Behave how you wish to behave. Have relationships with whomever you wish to have a relationship with. And allow that relationship to be exactly what you and the other wish for it to be. For there is truly no predetermined destination assigned by us or anyone else. There is no judgment. There are no rules. And there absolutely are no afterlife consequences for your behavior, for your decisions here on earth. All of that is 100% man-made. You came here to be free, you came to seek joy, and you came here to overcome your obstacles, the obstacles that you place in your own paths, knowing that you will experience expansion, eternal expansion, in the overcoming of them. So our guidance is to relax around the topic of gender, as with all topics. Don't allow society to place you in a box. Do and be what you wish to do, without guilt, without self-judgment, and allow your lives to unfold based on your true desires with your positive projected thought, without doubt, without fear, and without the interference of the unwanted teachings of another that you at your core know that you are not compatible with. This is all we have on this topic. Hi, it's David. I just got through listening to the playback. I have to say it was very interesting. Uh, This is an interesting episode because as far as I can recall, this is the first time the stream has ever really delved into the existence of other worlds 
or made comparison uh, to planet Earth and other planets. So very, very interesting. In some of my discussions with them, I've had a little bit of uh, discussion on these topics with them. I don't get a whole lot of information uh, out of them on this. Of course, if you you know reach a level of consciousness where you can sort of have a back and forth communication the way that I do with the stream, uh, especially in an automatic writing state, that's when it seems to be the most accurate as far as back and forth goes, unless somebody is there actually you know speaking to them. Um, it, it's just very interesting that I've never really gotten a lot out of them on that. Their guidance usually is to turn my focus toward planet Earth and my life here, because as a human, I cannot comprehend and they cannot begin to use our words uh, to describe what life on other planets is like and that there's such an infinite amount of other life out there. Where do you start on that topic? So it's very interesting that they use that uh, just as an example today on how other societies, other planets have evolved past the point where we are now with our gender bias. And of course, how there are also less evolved planets where it hasn't even come to be yet. And that's kind of what I got out of that, you know, that in the beginning, um, what we call human form, we were more like animals at that point, And things were probably more equal then than they are now, than they are when people started, as the, the stream says, coveting lands and creations and forming societies and, and, and putting all these rules in place, uh, forming these family units to control people. So to me, very, very interesting that they brought that in to kind of make an illustration of uh, kind of where we are on planet Earth with our gender roles today. I also really like the fact that, uh, you know, they, they pointed out that we don't have to worry about any of this stuff. You know, most of this beyond our body, I think they said body composition and, and, and the way we re- reproduce physically, um, there's no real need to follow any of these man-made rules. However, we did come here to have a physical existence to live a human life in this current society. And as they have told us many times, we all knew what we were getting into when we came all the way down to the family and society, race, gender, and conditions that we're born into. So a good reminder from them that we indeed all came to experience this human life and all of its problems that come along with it. You know, very often I get instant messages on Instagram and thing and emails and things like that that um, you know, sort of indicate that people want to use their spiritual guidance to rise above the human existence. And I certainly have had interactions with people who think that I should just be the stream all the time. And I will tell you that as much as I love my connection with them, I don't want to be possessed by the stream. <laughs> I want to still live my human life and enjoy my human things. You know, I don't live my entire existence as a spiritual teacher. You know, I still like to watch The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. There's very human things that I like to do uh, that I don't want to let go of. And and I like having a balance, but certainly uh, I want to remain human. And I think it helps very much in these teachings for me to have that point of reference to point to and to understand where everyone else is coming from. And, you know, the, the stream for me, I just want them to be something that I channel that's very pure, that comes forth and interacts with all of you that are interested and certainly provides guidance and assistance. So I hope that they have provided some of that for you today. I hope you enjoyed listening to this podcast. As always, uh, if you want to comment on the blog, uh, please go to thestreamofdavid.com. Every one of these posts has a section, I believe, at the top for comments, and you can comment and uh, interact with me a little bit there. You can certainly also interact on our Instagram page, which is the Stream of David, and you can email me, and the email address is david at thestreamofdavid.com. Uh, I do like answering emails. I'm getting a lot more emails today than I used to, but I do try to get back to all of them as quickly as possible. And remember, if you haven't already, to follow us on Instagram. As I said before, the page is The Stream of David. We're also on Facebook with the same name. And we're on Twitter, The Stream O David. And if you have not already done so, please, please, please go write a review on these podcasts, especially if you're listening on iTunes. But writing those reviews, I appreciate the ratings, certainly. But taking just a couple of minutes to write a quick review is extremely helpful in getting our message out to all those that are looking for this type of material. 
And the more that I'm able to connect with people that are looking for this type of material, the more I will be able to continue to provide it. As I said at the beginning of this episode, I really do want to find additional ways to reach more people because I see the benefit that the stream's message has. And once again, as a reminder, if you are going to be in Northern California on Saturday, March 3rd of 2018, and you would like to attend the free workshop in Mill Valley at the Aqua Hotel, please email me. You do need to send me an email and get signed up. We will only admit people that are on the approved list. Because this is a free workshop, you know, it's certainly possible for anyone to come. I do want to make sure that the only people that are attending this workshop are those that are listeners that already know what the stream is all about. I am not looking to convert any skeptics in this workshop. I don't think that that's a good use of anyone's time. Uh, I certainly don't mind people coming and asking any question they want to ask of the stream. But again, you know, if somebody's not into this or if they're skeptical or they want to disprove the reality of the stream, I just could care less about that. That's not something I'm really looking uh, to argue with anyone. If it's not for you, don't follow it. That's always going to be my message. I promise you that. But if you are into it, if you do want to hear more from the stream and you're going to be in Northern California and you would like to interact in person, I would love it if you attend the workshop. Just send me an email and we'll get you on the list. And if you have not already subscribed to these podcasts, you can do that on our website, which is thestreamofdavid.com. If you look in the menu, there is a subscribe page that you can go to, and there are numerous ways that you can subscribe, and all of them are free. I produce these every week, at least one per week, and I'm also beginning to produce additional content for the YouTube channel. So please look for The Stream of David on YouTube and subscribe there. I put all of the podcasts on there, and they are shot as videos, so there are uh, static images that appear during the podcast, but otherwise the podcast episodes are exactly the same that you're getting here, but there is bonus content there, and I am, I actually have already shot videos, uh, both channeling and just of myself, uh, that I'm working on editing and getting those upload. My goal is to uh, have a couple of videos a week on YouTube, and then this weekly podcast. Next week's episode is going to be a great one. Uh, It is trusting the process of creation, or to paraphrase a little bit, trusting your abundance. For anyone that is a listener of this, I'm sure you are familiar with the law of attraction. And in my experience, and my opinion, uh, we all know the law of attraction exists. It's very easy to prove to yourself the law of attraction. You don't have to look far in your life at all to see uh, all sorts of evidence of that. I think where everybody gets tripped up in the creating process is not trusting the process. And so that's what the stream is going to come and share with us next week. And that's what their focus is going to be on. Thank you all once again for listening. 